Alright, it's Steve. Welcome back to Real Bean Gaming. And what have we here? Sonic Overture 95. Hmm. So basically, um, I've been looking for another good 2D Sonic game after finishing Mania, and CD wasn't bad, but you know, it wasn't my favourite. And I thought, why not delve into the world of fan made Sonic games? Because I've never really played many of them. I've seen some, and they look great. So yeah, let's have a play. This one is a demo for this game Sonic Overture that's coming out, I'm not quite sure when, but I believe this demo released relatively recently, so let's give it a go. Sunrise Gate Zone is the first of the two levels that we get on this demo, and already looks brilliant. Nice, look at this. Feels nice as well. The uh, the momentum, the weight of Sonic feels good. Looks like there's some kind of a combo mechanic as well for killing enemies, which is oh interesting. Um, did I just? Oh yeah, you stand on the uh, stand on the little statues. Perhaps you can build them into uh, to like a combo when you yeah there you go, bouncing around as a hedgehog is uh, known to do. Nice. Tell you what, guys. I'd pay good money for another Sonic game like this. Hey. Oh. Alright, maybe that's maybe that's not meant to be there, I don't know. But yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I've, I've played some Sonic games in my time. Um, I started off with Sonic on the Mega Drive, and for me, those those titles have always been the best. Um, and I, I've liked some of the games, you know, post sort of Dreamcast era. I liked Sonic Adventure One and Two; they were they were a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, I'd say Sonic's had a bit of a rough ride over the last few years, so to get an, a game like Mania, perhaps with a few more original levels in it, would be awesome. But yeah, I'd be interested to hear what you guys think. Let me know. I love speaking to uh, fellow game enthusiasts, about, especially about games like this that got such a massive fan base and following. Who's this dude then? Let's see this game's knuckles. Hey, he's even got the sign for him there. Cheeky boy. Loving a flower animation as well, that's really nice. Sunrise Gate Zone 2, and we've got a slightly different aesthetic here as well. Oh, very nice. I quite like this little addition of um, being able to sort of stand on the point of things and be able to like sort of vault off them. That's quite a nice little thing, isn't it? Whee. Oh. This one feels uh, quite a bit more chill than the last one. The music's very kind of sedate and uh, sort of downplayed. Oh, hey, secret Sonic boy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right, this feels boss like. Oh, hello. Oh my god, I just uh, ran into Eggman's book crack. Also, he's uh, he's dressed differently. Is he in his slippers and his pajamas? He's like sod off. Sonic's like no. Oh. going on here. Oh, the uh, the boss music's a bit more funky. He threw a teacup at us. Is he... Was that an alarm clock? Yeah, did we wake him up? I don't know if he's... I guess he's yawning. I thought he was crying. What was that? Can't tell. It's another alarm clock. Eggman's a heavy sleeper. There you go. Go on, sod off. Hey, nice. I like that. That was cool. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. First impression's good. Granite Zone. Act 1. Really need to watch where I'm walking. Are these things safe? Uh, I guess. Oh, guys. Please, just give us another game like this. Come on, Sega. You know people want another game like this. Oh, you little sod. Ooh. Is that a little marble garden riff I hear? I was going to say it gives me marble garden vibes, this. Well, I guess it is granite. Um, pants. Not granite pants. Hey, that's a nice little nod if that's uh, if I was hearing that right. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Really gotta stop just uh, jumping in that lava, eh? I'm assuming we could have um, spin dashed through those blocks back there and gone down the lower path, but I don't know, it just always seems instinct to me to go for the high path. Ooh, infinite uh, loop machine there. Yeah, I'm sure that's a Marble Garden riff. I'm going to have to listen to Marble Garden after this now. That's a tune. That, that is a nice little uh, homage there, because yeah, I suppose when you think about it, this this level does kind of feel uh, like a sort of tribute to Marble Garden in a way. Some similar elements. 
couple of scheme or whatever. Oh, here he is. What's he up to? Sonic's looking pissed off. Hey. Okay, so this guy seems to be like this game is troublemaker, sort of like Knuckles was in oh bugger. In uh, Sonic oh shit. <laughs> Sonic 3. Come on, get it together. You know, it's really refreshing when Sonic's uh, stages or acts change uh, the sort of the look or the feel of the zone. I suppose it doesn't take much. A little bit of weather effects there. Um, I can't remember exactly, but maybe a slightly different background and it gives a totally different feel to the, uh, to the zone. God, I'm losing a lot of rings here. And that really just, uh, ooh, that just keeps it feeling fresh, you know? You don't feel like you're playing the same levels over and over. People like fresh Sonic. Oh, he's very fresh. Oh, shit, come on. Do we need that ball? Maybe. Maybe not. Nope, I guess not. I'm not doing uh, magically great on this one, but um, still getting through it. Oh shit! Okay. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, this isn't good. I'm gonna die. I died. Oh no. Down here with the lava isn't where I would choose to be, but but I meant most of it, guys. So
it's got a nice sense of momentum um, in some areas, this. Oh, God, I said that and then I stood still right on a spike. But yeah, it seems to have a nice a nice sense of momentum in, like, Sonic feels right. You know what I mean? Like, when I think of Sonic the Hedgehog 4, I did try that. I didn't, I didn't really like how Sonic felt, especially in Episode 1. It just didn't quite feel right. You know what I mean? The, the gravity, the momentum, the weight of Sonic just wasn't right. It just felt a bit kind of off. But this, this feels spot on. Like, you could just put this one right next to the Mega Drive games and it wouldn't feel out of place at all. Which, you know, huge respect to the people who made it because, you know, Sega hasn't got it right on uh, on some occasions and it's their, it's their, you know, their property, isn't it? So, uh, good on you. What the hell's this? Eggman Dragonfly mode. Ooh. What's going on here, then? Whoa. Wow, yeah, this is, uh... I'll tell you what, guys. Hey, I've got to... I guess I've got to slam him. Oh, shit, there's trees. Oh, bollocks. Sonic vs. Egg. You're going down, Egg. Hope you like Egg. Oh, shit. Stay still. Egg, I'll get you. Yeah, Egg bastard, get here. This looks brilliant, like, I can't even put into words, like, if this was in a, an actual Sonic game, as in, you know, a mainstream Sega made and released one, it just, you know, it just wouldn't be out of place, it just, it's brilliant. Yes. There you go. There's the credits. There's the details of the amazing people that made this. And, uh, yeah, Sega, if you're listening, let's have more like this, please, because um, that was great. Hey, it's coming out in 1996, guys. Stick it in your diary. Or your file of facts or whatever you would have had then. Your, uh, your Casio pocket computer thing. I have one of them. It was amazing. Anyway, thanks for joining me. That was brilliant. I'm definitely going to be looking out for that when it comes out. Um, so, I'm thinking we'll do some more of these Sonic fan games because there are some others that I've got hold of. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot more out there that are worth playing and uh, highlighting and enjoying. So, watch this space for some more fan-made Sonic brilliance. Cheers for watching, guys. See you soon. Ta-da.